Hey YouTube and thanks for watching Junkworks DIY Garage. Well we got behind me one of the fan favorites. We got my uh, 97 Chevy Astro van and today we are going to take out the passenger side seat. Now I had a question about this quite a while back from a lady and quite honestly I never did get back to her to show her how to do this or tell her how to do this. My son actually has been driving this van, so I haven't had it with me hardly at all to be able to figure that out. And then I kind of forgot about it and uh, came upon some unanswered questions that I uh, hadn't uh, answered yet. So I apologize in advance to the lady that that was. I can't remember who it was, uh, what the name was. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And the reason for that is because, unfortunately, the van decided to up and just not start one day. Um, it cranks, but no start. So that's what we're going to be diagnosing in the next video. So if you're having that problem, uh, take a look at that. But right now we're going to take out the passenger side seat. Then we're going to be taking out the doghouse or tunnel hump or whatever you want to call it uh, in the middle of the dash there to get to the top of the motor so regardless that is what is going to be coming up there'll be a few videos on this here rig so hopefully you enjoy so first i'm going through the back door here and the gal i told the lady there should be like four four nuts bolt screws i probably said four bolts in there somewhere and she said there was not but in my case on mine right over here in each corner in the back and both corners in the front there is an 11 16 nut now i will say i have to use a deep well to make it work and it's a little bit tight so it could be a, a metric version of that but that seems to be turning fairly easy Here's a look at the front one driver's side, or front left side. Behind here is another one on the front right area. I'm not going to film that. I've done three. Should be able to figure that out by now. Uh oh pull forward here and uh, that pops that up you don't need to worry about the uh, the seat belt at all and I'm going to go backwards just making sure we don't have anything as far as wires under here or something like that if you have power seats you're definitely going to have a little bit different scenario Probably similar, but you'll have to unplug some things. <clears throat> and quite honestly, that is it. It's it's four bolts and it's out. Actually, I take it back. The uh, seat belt mechanism was underneath the seat attached in. So uh, make sure you get that back, obviously, where it needs to be. Otherwise, that's it. And then if you need to get it out further than that, you pull it out the door. I don't. I'm going to get it back here as far as I can. And, like I said, that gives me access to the whole doghouse system here. So if you need to know how to take that out, uh, come back for that video. Yet again, that will be in my playlist. Go check out the playlist on this Astro Van. As well as all my other playlists. I'd appreciate it. Uh, hopefully this helps somebody out. Um, I'm really not calling the lady a liar or anything like that. I'm just saying four nuts is what it ended up being, and it's out. Um, her system might be completely different from this one, though. She has power seats, and she has, and somebody maybe was in there and messed with it. Who knows? It could just be sitting on the floor, uh, <laughs> not bolted down, and that might be confusing, or who knows. I will also say, before I climb in here, that uh, each one of those has a corresponding bolt or stud sticking up through the floor right here. 
and those would really really hurt to put your knees on so I suggest covering those up before you uh, go climbing on in so thanks for watching Junkworks DIY Garage where I'm proud to say I'm a jack of all and master of none you all have a good one